everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to build a 2x2 glass hipster door. Now, this is going to be a lot harder than the tutorials I normally do on Bedrock. I broke it up into sections, so hopefully it's pretty easy to understand. But all we have to do is just click this button right here. And the door will open up. And then when I click the button again, the door will close so there is a lot going on with this this is like i said a lot harder to do than a lot of my other builds but i broke it up into different sections so hopefully we all have an understanding well i know i do but hopefully you guys get an understanding of how all the different mechanisms are working and if you see all this stuff right here and go this is not for you then i 100 percent understand because this right here is the final build this is all the redstone going into this thing so the first thing we're going to be starting off actually with is this triple piston extension because this is going to be the triple piston extension this is going to be the double piston extension this is going to be the triple and double piston extension with a block pusher and then this one's going to be the door closing along with the triple piston double piston extension and block pusher and then this is going to be the button hookup to have everything hooked up at the end very confusing i know but i'm gonna try my best so let's go ahead and get started up on this build all right guys so for this build you're going to need a 9 by 11 spacing and you're also gonna have to dig down five well you're going to have to dig down six in just a couple of areas but just make sure you have a good room i'm gonna be doing it on top of the world this time because i need to see everything for this thing <laughs> and that red concrete block right there is where your door is going to be going now the resources you will need for this build are 14 sticky pistons, 9 pistons, 22 observer blocks, 4 droppers, 1 dispenser, 1 hopper, 2 redstone comparators, 42 redstone repeaters, 5 redstone torches, a handful of redstone, 4 buttons, a target block, 5 slabs, 10 glass blocks, 2 immovable objects, I will be using obsidian, and we're also going to need arrows, I recommend just taking out a stack for now, but try to get about 9 stacks later on once you're done building the entire thing, and then of course we're going to need some blocks to put our redstone down on all right guys so once you've gathered up all your resources and you got your area where you want to build this thing we're going to start off by building this triple piston extension first so when i click this button right here i'll triple piston extend up and then retract the blocks back down so to get things started off come to the bottom left hand corner i'm going to count over five blocks one two three four five and then we're going to count up six blocks one two three four five six and right here is where your door is going to be going so what I want you to do first is break these two blocks, place two pieces of redstone right underneath, and then we're going to place in three sticky pistons facing up, three sticky pistons facing up, just like that. And then right here is going to be your flooring. This is where it's going to be flush to the floor. As you see, it's flush to this floor right here of your entire build. So just giving you a heads up there, just in case you build this whole thing and then realize you're off by one, and that would really, really sting. Next up on both sides of your sticky pistons, I want you to break out these two blocks and place in slabs upside down with two pieces of redstone on top of both of them. And then right here, we're gonna break out this block and place another slab right here, upside down with some redstone. Next up, place some redstone right here. Place a four tick delay repeater going into that redstone. Break down a block, place a piece of redstone here and here. And that's going to be for the bottom pistons. Next up, we're gonna take out our observer blocks and coming out from the middle sticky pistons, we're gonna come out one, two, and then we're gonna face two observer blocks inwards. You'll know you're placing them in right when you see both arrows are facing towards each other. Then coming out of these observer blocks going into our sticky pistons right here, we're gonna place two more observer blocks facing in towards the sticky pistons. You'll know you placed them right when you see those two arrows facing towards your sticky pistons right there. So it should look something like this. Then on top of these two observer blocks, we're going to place in two repeaters, set them both to two ticks delay. Then we're going to place some redstone right in front of them on top of those observer blocks going into these sticky pistons. Next up, we're going to place two slabs right behind those with redstone on top of them. Then we're going to come down right here, placing two glass blocks in with some redstone like that. Next up, swing back over here, take out your blocks you're going to be placing your redstone down on and place one right here next to the observer block, one right here next to the observer block with redstone on top of both of them. Then coming out of the redstone, we're going to place in an observer block, place in yet again another observer block coming out of that redstone, and then place two observer blocks facing up, and then right above these are going to be your flooring blocks of choice. So I'm just going to take out some smooth sandstone and place those right above it. So this will be your floor right here that you're going to be walking across. Next up, take out your pistons and place two pistons off those blocks right there. And then right in front of these observer blocks, we're going to place again more observer blocks facing up, just like that and then place redstone on top of both of them. Then we're gonna take out glass blocks and place a glass block right here, 
a glass block right here. And then we're going to take out our buttons and redirect that redstone current. Next up, take out more blocks of choice. You will be able to see these when the door opens and closes. So place them right here, right in front of that redstone. Next up, swing down here to these slabs that have a redstone and place two repeaters coming out of them set to two ticks delay. So place a repeater here on two ticks delay. And on this side as well, place a repeater, set it to two ticks delay. Next up, take out your pistons once again and place a piston facing up and place another piston facing up right here. Then off the right-hand side where this piston is, we're going to break this block here, this block here, place a piece of redstone coming down, and then place a four-tick delay repeater coming out of that redstone. And then break out these two blocks. We'll actually break out all three just so you can see everything. So right now we have some redstone coming down into this four-tick that's going to a block that's right above this two-tick. So then we're going to place a redstone torch right off the side of this block. Place a sticky piston facing up right in front of that redstone torch. It should extend. Take out your observer blocks once again. Place an observer block coming out towards your build. So that little red dot right there should be facing towards your build right here. Next up, we're going to place a block right above this redstone torch and place in a repeater on four ticks delay. And now that should be your entire triple piston extension. So if I place a block right here and send power to this redstone, it will go all the way up and retract all the way down. So let's go ahead and place in our blocks just so we can see them pulling the blocks in. So this right here will be your full door so let's go ahead and just break these two right here just to test it out to make sure it grabs the top glass block so we'll do it again and perfect so we can go ahead and remove those so of course if your triple piston extension isn't working like i said i'm breaking them up in sections so you can always go back and just make sure everything is on the right delay for each repeater anything off by even one guys will break this thing so just make sure you know go back make sure you accidentally forgot a block in one place maybe you misplaced something just make sure you go back in case your triple piston extension isn't working because now we're going to work on the double piston extension. So to get things started off with our double piston extension, we're going to come right back here to the backhand side of our build. And I'm just going to change out some colors of blocks right here just so we know that this is our double piston extension. The pink circuits are our triple piston. The blue circuit's going to be our double piston. So going into all of these blocks and redstone right here, we're going to place in repeaters all set to one tick delay going into our sticky pistons and our redstone right here. Then we're going to come up a block on both sides, placing in two more repeaters, set them to two ticks delay. Then we're going to place a block up in front of those two tick delay repeaters. Then on the right hand side, we're going to place a glass block here. And on this side, we're going to place a full block right here as well. Next up, take out your redstone and just place redstone going along this entire line. Then on the left hand side, we're going to take out a redstone torch, place it right on top of this block, place a block above your redstone torch. And then two blocks over, placing redstone, and it should turn on, and it should connect to your button right here as well. Then on the block right here, we're going to place a sticky piston right underneath facing towards this observer block. Just like that. And that should be your entire double piston extension done. So if I place a button right here off of any part of this redstone and click this button, our double piston extension should work. So I'm going to go ahead and just place two glass blocks right here like that because this would be our full door. So we wanted to do the double piston extension to grab these ones right here. So let's go ahead and click our button now. Goes up, grabs the glass blocks and pulls them all the way down. So now what we want to do is connect both of them together. So then we can have our double and triple piston extension working simultaneously. So for this, all I did was use a repeater line because I noticed when I was putting them in different chunks, having a hopper timer was kind of breaking it. So I just went with the old fashioned repeater line just so nothing breaks if you put them in between chunks. Don't want that happening. So to hook our repeater line from our double piston extension to our triple piston extension, we're gonna come back over here and where we have this glass block, we're just gonna break out these blocks just so we could see everything because we will need this spacing later anyway. And we're gonna break it right down underneath these two glass blocks next up off of this glass block we're going to place a piece of redstone underneath and then we're just going to place repeaters going down and we're just going to use the same color for our double piston extension so we're going to come out like this and then we're just going to bring repeaters going all the way down to over here with a piece of redstone hooking up to them and now I set them all to four ticks delay like i said i just did this because when i was using a hopper timer it kept messing up the observer blocks so i just went with the old-fashioned repeater line just so it just keeps working i don't want anything to break anytime i want it to work every single time so now our double piston extension and our triple piston extension 
should be hooked up but we don't have our block pusher yet but we could still go ahead and test it out so if i click this button it'll do my double piston extension and then boom it'll do the triple piston extension obviously we don't want to doing that so now we're going to make it so it could push the blocks over so for this next part we are going to need our immovable objects so we're going to come right over here to when we placed in these blocks next to these observer blocks and we're just going to come out two blocks so one and then place in your obsidian block one and then place in your obsidian block then we're going to take out sticky pistons and face two sticky pistons towards our blocks of choice right here like that now we just have to hook it up so these push the glass blocks over so it can pull down the second set of glass blocks so to do that we're just going to take out our different color and place one block here and one block here next to those sticky pistons then we're going to come a block up right underneath in this corner on this side and this side with two sticky pistons facing up take out your observer blocks and face them in towards this block right here so the, the little red dot should be facing towards your creation we'll do it one more time on this side the observer block should be facing in towards your build now before we move on to connecting them together we're actually going to come over here and where i've been testing out on this side not the side with the glass block this full side we're going to go ahead and break out these four blocks next up take out a redstone repeater and coming out of the block that has this redstone right here we're going to place a repeater and set it to four ticks delay make sure it's facing towards this way then we're going to place a block in front of it place another repeater coming out of that block set it to three ticks delay and then right in front of this three tick delay repeater we're going to place a sticky piston facing up with an observer block facing in towards your build then we're going to place a block coming out right next to our sticky piston with a repeater coming out of that observer block set it to four ticks delay place a block in front of it two blocks down and a block in front of that sticky piston and then place redstone right along both of those blocks so now what this will do is push our first set of glass blocks over so it can pull down the second set of glass blocks. So we can go ahead and test it out now by clicking this button right here. It will pull down the first set of glass blocks, push it over, and then pull down that other set of glass blocks. So now that we got that circuit out of the way, we can go ahead and work on the closing circuit for our door, which is actually going to be two circuits right now, and then we're going to hook them together with the button. So basically, this is what it's going to do. We're going to have this right over here. When we click this button, it's going to retract our blocks. And then we're just going to click this button right over here. And that will close our door. And then we're going to click this button right here. And that will fully close our door. It's a little weird, I know. But that's what we're going to be getting ourselves into right now. So for our next step, we're going to swing back over here. And right underneath where our immovable objects are. We're going to come right here. And we should see all of our sticky pistons right here. We're going to place in a block here, here 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 and right here as well then we're going to place two repeaters going into those blocks make sure they're both set to two ticks delay then we're going to place glass blocks right behind them with redstone on top of the glass blocks now we don't want these two connecting so we're just going to place two more blocks here disconnecting them then going into our immovable objects right here we're going to place a repeater on one tick delay going into both of them then coming out of these repeaters we're going to take out our observer blocks and, and place an observer block coming out of that repeater and then one down like that and do the same thing on this side place an observer block coming out of it and one down so the arrow should be pointing down and the arrow should be pointing away from the repeater on the left side and then on the right side it should be pointing to the right and down here as well then we're going to place two more blocks behind these repeaters with two pieces of redstone then coming out of the right hand side right here we're going to come out two blocks placing in a repeater going into that redstone and then a redstone comparator going into that repeater then we're going to take out our droppers now. Do I actually have my droppers on me? I do. So make sure you... So go ahead and take out your droppers. And we're going to place a dropper facing up right behind that redstone comparator. Then we're going to come up two blocks. Break this block right here. And place a dropper facing down into there. And actually leave that block there. And leave a block right underneath for now. Because right now we just want to make sure we can test it to make sure everything is working. Then go into your top dropper. And we're going to go ahead and just place one item in here. It does not matter. It should activate your flooring. So now if I click this button right here, this should retract. Perfect. And then when I click this button right here, it should extend. And that's what you want right now. This button will make it retract. And this button will make it extend. So for right now, just make sure the item's in the top dropper to leave it extended up. Because now we're going to go ahead and place in our pistons for this side, which is going to close our door. So coming out from where our glass blocks are right here, we're just going to come out one, two, three blocks. 
and place two pistons facing in. Place two pistons facing in on this side as well. Next up, come up a block right next to your slab right here. Break that block underneath and wrap them going all the way around your pistons. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and place redstone right along these blocks. And then place a repeater coming out of the redstone. Set it to four ticks delay. They should be right next to your second set of pistons. And then we're going to place a block up right in front of both of those repeaters. Then off the redstone that's right behind your repeater right here, we're going to place in an observer block facing down. And we're going to have to place another observer block facing down right next to this block right here. So place a block here, observer block facing down, break this block. Do the same thing on this side. So observer block facing down, block, observer block facing down, break the middle block, and go ahead and place redstone on top of both of those observer blocks. And do the same thing on this side, redstone on top of both of those observer blocks. Then right underneath where your observer blocks are, right off of this piston, we're going to place in three blocks. One, two, three. And we're going to place redstone right along all three of those blocks. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So right next to your piston, one, two, three. And place redstone right along all of those blocks. And that's going to be the entire circuit for the door closing. So what we want to do now is actually open up this spot right here so we can test it out to make sure our door closes. So just come over here, click this button. It should retract your blocks back. And now we can go ahead and test it out to make sure everything is working over here as well. So just take out another button. Come over here. Now, it won't look like this because it will not have a pulse. It will keep the redstone current. But for right now, we're just testing out to make sure everything is working. So when we click our button, it'll push the door up. Perfect. It should look something like this right now. And like I said, don't worry. It will not do that later on because we're not going to be using a pulse. We're going to keep the redstone on at all times. So that's what your door should look like right now. And then if we come over to this side and click the bottom button... It'll push the door all the way up. And that is what we want right now. So all that's left to do now, guys, is just to place in our button. And we'll be completely done. Because all we have to do is now is just hook up our double piston and triple piston extension to our closing circuit for our door as well. So what we're going to do is just come out from where our door is at right now. We're going to come out a block. So one, two, and then come up one and break these. And this is where our button's going to be going. So we're going to place our button right here and our button right here. On both sides then right underneath our button block we're going to place a block take out your droppers make sure they're your droppers and face a dropper going in towards your door right here so place your dropper going in towards the door like that you can go to remove that block and place a piece of redstone on top of it then right underneath it we're going to place a dropper facing up into the build like that then we're going to take out our hoppers and we're going to place a hopper going into the side of this dropper right here from the inside so that will make a hopper dropper t flip-flop so let's go ahead and just place one item inside of it so now when i click this button right here the item will shoot out and go into the bottom dropper and then when i click the button again the item will go up into the top drop and that will make our hopper dropper t flip-flop next up going into the backhand side over here we're just going to place a line of blocks from our bottom dropper going all the way over to this dropper over here and we're just going to place in a line of redstone and you can go ahead and break that block it's no longer needed so now when i click my button over here it'll actually activate it opening up this circuit so just come back down here and click this button and push the item back up there we want this closed for right now next up coming out of the right hand side going towards our closing circuit we're going to place in one two three four blocks and then up one and we're going to place a comparator coming out of it like that. It should come on. If your comparator is not coming on, that means the item is not in the top drop right now. Make sure that item is in the top dropper. So if it's in your bottom one, just take it out and put it in the top dropper for now. And then we're going to place in two repeaters and set them both to four ticks delay. This should activate your closing circuit. Next up, take out your sticky pistons and off of the block that has our redstone comparator on it. We're going to come underneath it and place a sticky piston facing down like that and then place a block in front of that sticky piston next up take out your redstone torches and over here where these repeaters are going into this block we're actually going to break out these two place a redstone torch on this side and place a piece of redstone right here then coming out of that redstone we're going to go that way with repeaters set them to four ticks delay skip this block right here and then place in more repeaters going all the way down to right here Set them all to four ticks delay. Then we're going to place a piston right in front of this repeater right here. And then right underneath this block, we're going to place in a redstone torch off the side of our piston. 
So right now it should look something. You know, let me go in and open this up just a little bit more so you can see everything. There we go. So it should look something like this right now. Next up, place a redstone torch off the side of this block. And then from this sticky piston, we're going to come down a line, placing redstone along all of these blocks. Then off the side of this block where your sticky piston is, we're going to place in a dispenser. Make sure it's a dispenser and not a dropper. And place in your stack of arrows inside of that dispenser. Then we're going to come out two blocks from there. One. And then on the second block, we're going to place a target. Two. And then we're going to come out a block from your target block going near that glass block right there. And place in a repeater. Set it to four ticks to light. And that is it, guys. You are completely done. So now when I click this button right here. It will pull down the glass blocks. There we go. So that's going to be the door completely opened up. So now we can walk on through. And then when I click the button again, that will be the door closing up. And there you guys have it. You are 100% completely done. Now, actually, one more thing. One more thing. Since I put my button here, if you want to move your button, then you're going to have to learn how to do this. And I don't recommend doing it. <laughs> I recommend just leaving it the exact same way that I showed you how to build it. If, if you think you can move it, then go right ahead. It's completely up to you. If you know how redstone works, then. <laughs> but for right here, since I have it set up like this, you're going to have to have an upside down staircase right here. So the, that redstone right there does not get cut off. Or you can use a slab. It's completely up to you. But just giving a heads up now, you need something there so that redstone does not get cut off. But now that we are completely done, all that's left to do is just to clean it up. So just place in your blocks of choice right over the redstone. There we go. All the way down. We want to hide this all up. We don't want to see absolutely anything because this is a lot of redstone. <laughs> or maybe you want to leave it open so people can see and look. go, hey, look what I built. <laughs> that's completely up to you. There we go. But for me, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and close it all up. Like that, and there we have it. So now when I click the button, the door will get retracted. And then, of course, you could put a door frame around it however you want. Like this. There we go. You know, actually, let me go ahead and uh, reclose it. There we go. So if you want a full glass wall, that's completely up to you. But what I also think looks good as well is to have a kind of door frame going around it so let me go ahead and use i'm gonna use black concrete black concrete there we go so if you want to you can go ahead and put like a little door frame like this to cut off that glass and that glass so now you can go like that just like that and then when you click the button again It opens up. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a 2x2 two two glass hipster door inside of Minecraft Bedrock. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.